have the honor to receive Mr. John Hong Park from Samsung that will uh, present us the conference, the era of ultra high definition. Okay. Mr. Park, at present is the Vice President of Digital Media and Communication Research and Development Center in Samsung Electronics and is currently involved in the development of next generation multimedia technology for enabling the future innovative product, product and services. He joined Samsung Electronics in 1994 and since then he has developed next generation video compression technology and has uh, strongly contributed to the developing of a very popular video coding standard uh, such as MPEG-4, H.264 and HBC. Also from 2002 to 2004, he has been involved in developing the world's first mobile broadcasting technology as an active member of the World DMB. Currently, his uh, focus include uh, innovative multimedia technology and services with multimedia compression technology, video processing and multimedia systems. Also just for, for broadcasting and also for communications. Okay. So Mr. Park, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, introduction. Uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Cesar. Uh, at first, uh, the, it's very honor for me uh, to present uh, my keynote speech uh, for the conference members. Uh, today, my uh, topic is uh, the year of UHD. Uh, might be that is uh, related to some uh, media trend and some uh, in industry trend. And also, I would like to give us some uh, future outlook. Uh, what will be happen uh, after this time? Uh, so today, I will present uh, the uh, first with uh, the history of TV. Uh, might be uh, many media is started some uh, broadcasting, uh, and then I will go to the our uh, today main topic uh, UHD. Uh, after that, uh, I will. Uh, some share uh, Samsung's uh, ultra high definition TV. Uh, it's launched uh, this year, and then uh, some. Uh, the next thing is uh, some new one, a uh, new immersive uh, media and device uh, will be uh, presented. So let's start from the history of TV. Uh, the, the usually uh, the media uh, we mention about uh, media. Uh, it's uh, audio and video, uh, sometimes uh, the graphics or some image. Uh, most of the media is uh, used uh, at the, the broadcasting. So broadcasting is started from the 1936. Uh, at this time, uh, we had uh, some analog uh, transmission. And then uh, we moved to uh, digital uh, broadcasting. So. 1998. Uh, this time we the, had a, uh, the digital TV broadcasting uh, with HD. Uh, the, I think you already remember. Uh, in in this time, uh, the launch of Discovery uh, Space Shuttle uh, was uh, the broadcasted with uh, the, the in the world of post uh, with uh, digital uh, broadcasting system. Uh, and also, uh, the before 1998, uh, might be 1988, the Seoul Olympic game, uh, at that time, uh, some uh, broadcasting was tested the initially uh, with NHK uh, broadcasting. So after that, the many uh, digital TV uh, time shifted. And then analog to uh, digital transition was uh, happened uh, mainly 2000, early 2000. After that, uh, we had uh, the uh, now uh, 4K ultra high definition uh, broadcasting. Uh, but uh, this is uh, till um, some trial stage, non-main uh, broadcasting. 
So commercially, it will be uh, open uh, from this year and next year. But uh, ultra high definition is uh, the mainly terrestrial is not uh, directly um, assigned, but it will be happen. Uh, that the one reason is uh, uh, digital the broadcasting was started from 1998, and then uh, many uh, the spectrum is allocated to uh, HD broadcasting. So to have a new uh, ultra high definition broadcasting, uh, we need a, a new uh, spectrum for transmission. So mainly uh, the uh, broadcasting industry uh, strongly uh, needs to have a, a new chance for a new spectrum is uh, for uh, 4K ultra high definition broadcasting. Uh, so this time cable and satellite is a uh, uh, ongoing stage. Uh, for example, Korea, uh, we had launched uh, uh, cable broadcasting with uh, for, uh, 4K ultra high definition broadcasting, uh, and also the the regular is uh, started. Uh, there is uh, some uh, regarding broadcasting uh, history, and then uh, we can uh, see the history of TV. Uh, already, you know the some CRT was uh, started, and then uh, we moved to a uh, flat panel display. Uh, after that, the, we had a 4K ultra high definition TV this time. Uh, at the beginning of flat panel display, uh, at the time we used the LCD and PDP. Uh, but after that, we moved to uh, LED uh, as a light source. So we can have a very thin uh, digital television. Uh, after that, we added some uh, functionality uh, such as 3D or some smart TV. Uh, and then now we are uh, in the time of ultra high definition television and also some OLED uh, TV. Uh, the, I wanted to touch some uh, market forecast. Uh, the, honestly speaking, uh, television industry is uh, now some still growing, but uh, not rapidly. Uh, the reason is, as you know, uh, television is uh, some the home entertainment device, but uh, it will not be changed very frequently. Uh, that means uh, smartphone case, uh, many person uh, wanted to change two or uh, three years uh, some uh, during, but uh, TV case usually it happen five or ten years, but uh, still, uh, the market is uh, uh, some the steady states, but uh, for ultra high definition TV case, uh, the market is a starting time. So uh, the growing is uh, more than twenty percent. So we can have a more chance uh, the with four uh, K ultra high definition uh, media, uh, and also to have uh, uh, this broadcasting and television, uh, we definitely need to have an ecosystem. The ecosystem means uh, uh, creating, from creating with uh, delivering, and then finally uh, displaying. So at the, the beginning of creating, uh, usually we have a, a TV uh, network broadcaster, which means uh, mainly some terrestrial related uh, broadcaster, uh, they made uh, uh, contents with their uh, camera, and then it was uh, delivered by terrestrial uh, or some cable, and then uh, with uh, some TV screen uh, display, there was contents. There was a uh, uh, traditional uh, broadcasting ecosystem. Uh, the main uh, the reason is actual thing is terrestrial, uh, but now uh, we are moving to IP-based one. Uh, the main reason is uh, terrestrial case. Uh, when he, uh, we want to uh, deliver our media uh, by uh, some network, uh, at that time, the main uh, bandwidth uh, for broadcasting is just terrestrial is the biggest one. So the bandwidth might be terrestrial case. Uh, I remember ATSC or some DVB. Uh, they have uh, more than 20 megabps bandwidth. So uh, before this time, 
uh, we can use that bandwidth for delivering uh, full HD. But after that, uh, we are now uh, <coughs> investing uh, many uh, network infra. After that, we have a uh, good network with IP. So uh, several countries already have uh, more than 50 megabps network with internet, and then they can have uh, some streaming. Uh, even though uh, they do not use a streaming, uh, they can also have uh, some download service with IP network. So with this one, uh, some Netflix, some Amazon uh, is, uh, can be one of content creator. Uh, so uh, they called uh, OTT. Uh, so with uh, this creating and delivering uh, systems, uh, the whole ecosystem uh, is possible. So the ecosystem is uh, uh, smoothly changed from uh, traditional to a very new one. That means terrestrial and uh, IP is, uh, the both of them is uh, very unique, uh, the, the transmission system for a uh, media. So um, the before uh, this slide, I just uh, give a very, uh, the introduction of uh, broadcasting and TV uh, history and the uh, market of the UHD uh, some podcast. So uh, we call UHD is ultra high definition TV. So ultra high definition means uh, uh, not just uh, resolution wise. It means we need a more new factor. Uh, at this time, even uh, ultra high definition is just four times uh, larger than uh, Pro HD. Uh, it means, uh, the, honestly speaking, the bandwidth can be taken by four times or more uh, than full HD. So uh, at this time, we, we are now in the UHD uh, media, but uh, after UHD, right, more uh, new uh, media can be happen. So uh, at the ultra high definition and beyond the means, uh, we need uh, uh, something different from the full HD. So uh, we think not just the larger screen is larger resolution is not just ultra high definition. Uh, so we uh, wanted to uh, change that concept to a uh, different aspect. So uh, the visual quality uh, may, might be uh, you never experienced before. So that should be uh, presented with uh, a new UHD uh, media and the new contents ecosystem. As I mentioned before, not just the terrestrial, might be widely spread with uh, IP-based uh, system. So totally, you will have a, a new uh, viewing experience. So uh, as I mentioned, the not just increased resolution uh, for 4K. Uh, so we wanted to have a, a very realistic viewing uh, quality and also a very immersive one with uh, some form factor of TV. And also uh, the user, uh, usually customer, should have a very convenient experience when uh, they have a, a look the, their TV with a new uh, ultra-high definition media. So three, this aspect is, uh, might be uh, new uh, viewing experience uh, before, uh, comparing before uh, Pro HD uh, time. So um, device case, the, at first for a realistic viewing uh, quality, uh, we need a, a total the three aspect. The first one is device. Uh, might be you remember, uh, current uh, the TV uh, shows not much uh, the vivid color or some the color wide gamut. Uh, and also some brightness is uh, still uh, moderate. So uh, we need a more bright and uh, more colorful uh, display. So this means display should be changed for showing uh, 4K ultra high definition media. And also processing. Uh, with this kind of some new display, uh, we have to uh, change our uh, video processing mechanism uh, suitable to a new display. And also uh, contents ecosystem. Uh, usually just the TV can uh, the post-processing with delivered contents, but uh, we call 
uh, ecosystem. So that means uh, we, we need ecosystem as different uh, aspect. That is, uh, uh, we want to keep uh, original create intention to express uh, there's uh, the contents creation uh, time. And also uh, the many uh, quality loss was happen uh, when making some compression or uh, to delivering or uh, the channel system. So uh, these three aspects should be uh, considered for uh, showing realistic video quality. So uh, the for the, the realistic visual quality, as, in, as I mentioned in the previous slide, uh, it should be uh, considered uh, in terms of human visual system. Uh, how human uh, per uh, perceive the visual quality in the our system. So the brightness and contrast color detail, these four factors is uh, main factor for uh, perceive uh, visual quality. So uh, at first, uh, it, it, it will be depends on uh, viewing distance uh, when you are watching the TV. So uh, long viewing distance case, uh, the more important one is brightness. And then second is contrast, and the third one is color. Uh, and the other way, uh, some short viewing distance case, uh, definitely the first one is detail, and second is noise. So when we uh, make our uh, uh, new system, we have to consider uh, regarding some distance, the main uh, factor will be uh, different. Uh, and also other some form factor. Uh, as you know, uh, flat panel display is, uh, means uh, the flat, uh, but the poor immersive uh, might be you uh, understand some digital cinema in the theater, you will see uh, some uh, rounded and curved uh, environment for showing uh, the movie. So we uh, wanted to change uh, this kind of concept. Flat panel display also can be changed with a uh, uh, curved one to show uh, some clear and more immersive screen. Uh, with this uh, covered form factors, uh, you can have uh, the same viewing distance in uh, uh, every uh, SD edge or the screen center of the screen. Uh, so with this uh, the covered environment, uh, might be some interference uh, surrounding light uh, can be canceled. So we have a more constant contrast uh, we'll have. Uh, and finally, uh, the convenient is also an uh, important one. It means uh, when we just uh, uh, limp back to uh, watch TV, uh, it's just a very uh, conventional one. So that means a user wanted to have a very uh, convenient uh, experience uh, during watching the, uh, the new media. So uh, we add a, a lot of uh, some smart UX for showing and uh, the interacting more uh, the friendly. Uh, so the, till now, I just uh, give the, the introduction of uh, what the UHD uh, should consider for showing uh, new uh, experience with uh, new uh, TV and broadcasting. Uh, from this time, I will introduce uh, the, our company's uh, uh, the super ultra high definition TV concept. Uh, so totally, we wanted to uh, adapt uh, previous my the presentation. Uh, what should be changed before uh, going to new uh, viewing experience with uh, ultra high definition? So as I mentioned, the, at first, the, the bright. Uh, bright means uh, when you see the, uh, the TV in the screen, uh, like some dazzling sun or some shining star, uh, this kind of uh, the object should be 
uh, clearly uh, the shown uh, with uh, this bright technology. Uh, and also more colorful, which means uh, the use more uh, realistic color. So some crystal clear sea or some very green tea as a real green color. Uh, and also the generally uh, some the more detail uh, the object. So <coughs> some, for example, uh, like some texture of a cloth, uh, it should be more and more detailed with uh, uh, new technology. Uh, but just uh, with this kind of uh, showing uh, or some viewing experience is not uh, much the uh, important, but uh, also we have a more important one. That is uh, uh, some collaboration with uh, some content uh, creation, which means uh, the we need to uh, show intention of create uh, the, the original opinion. Uh, it will be uh, possible with uh, some collaboration with uh, uh, content ecosystem. So which means uh, the we need to uh, new uh, some ecosystem environment. Uh, so uh, current the, our Samsung's ultra high definition TV, uh, the for ultimate uh, some viewing experience, we introduced uh, three different uh, aspect. So first one is picture quality. Uh, it will uh, focus on device and processing. And another one is the contents ecosystem. Uh, new contents ecosystem adopt uh, UHD alliance. And also to show, uh, to express more convenient and smart one, uh, we adapt some Taijian uh, operating systems. Uh, at first for uh, device, uh, device and some display, uh, the innovation is started from uh, the new device. Uh, the some conventional one is, uh, you already know, some LED as light source. Uh, and then we showed very uh, clear uh, pictures. Uh, but after the 4K case, uh, we wanted to change. That is, uh, to adopt uh, more the wide color and more brightness with a uh, new display. So we uh, adopt the nano crystal uh, technology. So with nano crystal uh, technology, uh, we make more uh, full color uh, reproduction. So as you see, uh, the SUHD case, uh, the as you know, the uh, the previous the conventional the, the ecosystem was. Uh, uh, BT709, but now uh, we uh, change the that is uh, uh, BT2020. Uh, and also, the when you are watching the digital cinema, at that time you are watching uh, with the DCI uh, P3 uh, specification. So our uh, SUHD the display uh, can handle uh, near 94% uh, of DCI P3 uh, with uh, real color production. Uh, as I mentioned before, that is uh, possible with uh, uh, nano crystal, crystal technology. Uh, the, with the, this kind of some full color, wide color uh, reproduction, uh, we can show uh, very vivid color uh, as uh, uh, the DCI P3 spec. And also, uh, with the wide color gamut, we wanted to introduce a new one. That is a, a high dynamic range we call HDR. Uh, this HDR is, uh, the, as you can see, from uh, standard dynamic range to high dynamic range, uh, what will be uh, happen with our screen. Usually, um, the television case, the broadcasting is uh, uh, mastered as uh, uh, 100 nit uh, to create contents for uh, broadcasting. Uh, and 
the our TV usually uh, digital TV can uh, handle uh, 500 nit. Uh, so we can see uh, this kind of uh, 500 nit uh, contents with uh, uh, even the contents is uh, mastered as uh, 100 nit. But this time the HDR case we need a more uh, brightness. So we uh, introduced uh, 1,000 nit as a display. So you can see uh, the some more the bit depth and the more uh, the improved uh, improved brightness. Uh, so this one um, the previous the brightness is uh, like this one uh, to improve uh, the transmitters the uh, panels we can have a more. Uh, upright uh, brightness. And then uh, we have uh, some uh, new improved peak illumination technology uh, without some uh, more power consumption. Uh, it can be uh, some e energy efficient um, light source. So display can show uh, ultra high definition as this will be changed more uh, some the vivid and brightness one. And also in the uh, the dark of the area, we can have a more uh, dark, the object can be uh, showed with uh, uh, SUHD. Uh, so, as I mentioned, the, uh, this, some, uh, the contrast is related to uh, new viewing experience. So, uh, totally uh, three aspect, uh, new panel, and some new uh, audio uh, related one. The audio might be uh, something different as the previous one that is multi-channel, but uh, we wanted to show some object-based uh, processing uh, with uh, some contents uh, related to some technology. Uh, and finally, as I mentioned, some uh, more brightness and more darkness can be uh, controlled by uh, improved dimming uh, processing. And the, as I mentioned, some uh, like some color, uh, the, that is also a new crystal panel uh, can show uh, sRGB to uh, DCI-P3. And also uh, detail is, can be possible uh, improved color. And also uh, the many, uh, some active color can be uh, the presented with uh, uh, color mapping uh, algorithm. So uh, the, with device and uh, processing technology, uh, we can have a more wide color uh, display and more uh, brightness uh, panel. So we have a, a new experience with uh, device and uh, processing technology. And then uh, we also focused on a new ecosystem. Uh, before going to new ecosystem, uh, this is uh, like some very general uh, conventional processing. This means uh, the ultra high definition can be have uh, more uh, conventional contents like some full HD or even uh, HD contents uh, should be uh, displayed at the general uh, our uh, SUH TV. So to show that uh, one as a more clear picture quality, uh, we add a uh, uh, new uh, processing technology. That is, uh, at first we add a uh, analysis, analysis technology. After that, we have a, a re reduction of noise, and then uh, the make some upscaling for uh, 4K uh, resolution wise, even though that is uh, just for HD or HD. And then finally, we add a, a detail enhancement technology. We four step we can have uh, uh, conventional contents also uh, to be uh, displayed with more uh, the better quality compared to uh, our uh, uh, some previous uh, one. Uh, so more some detail is uh, the upscaling processing. The upscaling is, as you already know, uh, general convention uh, contents can be 
uh, upscaled for uh, to fit uh, their content to uh, more larger screen, larger resolution. So in that case, uh, we uh, more the added uh, important one as uh, uh, improved detail enhancement. So the original source will be more uh, loosed with uh, some compression technology or some transmission technology, but uh, we make more sharp and uh, deep edge with uh, uh, detail enhancement technology. And then uh, this kind of some, uh, smooth input will be displayed as a more detailed picture uh, as output. So uh, the, this kind of some uh, technology uh, and device the, is uh, the side of uh, some consumer electronics uh, manufacturing. Uh, but the previously, the many contents is just uh, same contents at uh, various TV. But uh, this time, uh, we wanted to show different the uh, contents experience. So uh, as I mentioned, we added a uh, new fennel as device and the new processing technology. Uh, and then uh, we wanted to uh, make new ecosystem for new viewing technology. So uh, at first, the content creating is uh, started from some Hollywood. So that means uh, movie uh, will be the first target to show with uh, full uh, 4H, uh, UHD uh, media. So uh, this one is uh, the, uh, some, the parks or the Universal, Universal Studio. Uh, and Disney is uh, uh, involved to UHD uh, Alliance. Uh, and this content creation will be uh, mastered. That means uh, the mastering is uh, happen uh, to uh, deliver their contents with uh, some uh, content provider. At that time, the usually the content creating is uh, uh, delivered with uh, uh, the one mastering technology. That is, uh, as I mentioned before, television broadcasting system is just use uh, uh, 100 nit. So uh, it was uh, uh, mastered as uh, 100 nit environment. But at this time, as I mentioned, uh, the display uh, is changing with uh, new technology. So that means we have a more brightness uh, uh, panel device. So we have a more uh, wide color uh, presentation. So in this case, we need to change uh, new mastering. So the post-production company also involved to uh, making uh, mastering. And then, as I mentioned, delivering is also changed from traditional uh, terrestrial to uh, IP. So at this time, Netflix and DirecTV as member of uh, UHD Alliance uh, for content distribution. And uh, finally, uh, the big uh, consumer electronics uh, was involved to uh, display. So this whole new ecosystem uh, was uh, the join for making new ecosystem for uh, UHD media. So I think uh, in this week, uh, might be you already uh, had some article. Uh, the Amazon case, uh, they wanted to show uh, their contents uh, with uh, uh, HDR. Uh, at, at that time, I just read the article uh, that HDR contents are currently possible to uh, display uh, our company's uh, new SUHD TV. The reason is, as I mentioned before, uh, currently in the market, uh, 10,000 nit display is uh, uh, just only for by Samsung. But uh, I I hope and I believe uh, many company will uh, introduce a new uh, display from uh, the end of this year or early next year. So UHD uh, Alliance was uh, uh, the established uh, the early this year uh, from CES to uh, 2015. <coughs> 15. At that time, uh, the many company uh, 
have a very uh, the good, uh, interesting, uh, and then uh, the early uh, previous months uh, we uh, launched uh, regularly. So after that, now we are uh, ongoing stage to making a new ecosystem and a new uh, UHD media trend. So um, the, at first, the studio, as I mentioned, the Hollywood case, they wanted to make a new uh, premium content. Uh, even though uh, this is a very uh, important one, uh, many the contents is still legacy. So uh, we have to also focus on uh, this legacy contents. So with this premium and the legacy contents, uh, we make a new uh, remastering engine. That means uh, uh, previous contents mastering can be changed as a, a new remastering engine. So for uh, premium contents, it will uh, give more original uh, contents creation, create intention. And also for legacy contents, uh, we need a uh, picture quality, uh, like some of the uh, SUHD premium contents. So um, currently, uh, we have a more brightness and more color. So till now, um, the, we have a, a very superb visual quality. Uh, so current, the, this one might be previous uh, UHD TV. Uh, we changed with uh, SUHD uh, with a lot, uh, several some new display and processing and also new ecosystem. So we have a, a current uh, existing display uh, will, uh, will not give a visual limit, but uh, we will have a more uh, super visual quality with uh, SUHD TV. So at this time, SUHD TV was launched from this year, and then uh, we will ex uh, expand uh, this uh, lineup. Okay, um, so uh, till now, I the give the uh, several uh, things the, for the summary. At first time, I give you some intro history related one. There was uh, broadcasting and TV. So uh, before 2000, uh, major was uh, uh, some HD and uh, analog. From the transition 2000, uh, we changed the environment and trend for uh, digital. Uh, but the, after that, the, this year, uh, we want to ch change also a new uh, UH media uh, trend that is uh, more premium quality, uh, more uh, or and new uh, viewing experience. Uh, so with a uh, new uh, UHD media trend, so there was a uh, uh, bright new uh, more brightness and more color that is uh, uh, with a new technology of display and also. Related to the one uh, related to processing. After that, uh, whole content ecosystem also uh, currently changed from content creation to deliver and uh, final uh, the rep uh, representation. So this one is uh, just uh, the initial starting. Uh, so it will be happen more uh, good technology uh, developed uh, from industry even with the university and more some organization. So that is related to uh, UHD media. And also I would like to uh, share some uh, small uh, one. That is, uh, uh, what is uh, the next one? So we can uh, consider uh, like some, for after 4K will be uh, definitely 8K will happen. As you already know, uh, 2016, uh, the NHK will have a trial with the AK broadcasting. And then 2018, uh, the some Olympic game will be uh, broadcasted with the uh, AK. Uh, and also we have a AK display uh, already the last year CES, from last year CES, uh, AK display was uh, exhibited and then uh, this year, uh, many country uh, they show that there's own uh, TV. Even though the contents is not yet 
uh, 8K uh, displays already uh, exist. But the, I hope the 8K will also happen, but uh, the time uh, will be the starting after 4K. The main one reason is uh, content creation. So at this time, 4K content creation is uh, near uh, preparation and ready stage. So many broadcasts already have their own 4K camera and the delivering system. Even also uh, the industry already uh, the introduced uh, 4K television many years ago, but till now this year, uh, we have a new concept of uh, 4K TV. So that is related to uh, some the resolution wise. But uh, we can also consider uh, there is a more realistic uh, viewing experience. But uh, another way, we can have a new experience with some immersive. So uh, the, we think this kind of immersive can be uh, presented uh, at anywhere, anytime. That means TV case, you can just uh, link back experience with uh, very good picture quality and good uh, environment. But uh, sometimes you feel uh, like a uh, new experience can be possible with uh, a new device. So uh, Samsung launched a uh, project uh, beyond. So this one is uh, 360 uh, camera capturing. And then uh, we the, the compressed after that, make one pictures. Uh, with a uh, new uh, device the, we call the Gear VR. But uh, it, it similar uh, concept is already uh, showing at uh, uh, many company. So this kind of new immersive new experience will be happen. So uh, this kind of ecosystem also uh, probably uh, changed with uh, uh, this kind of uh, concept. Uh, so uh, finally, uh, I think uh, we introduced uh, uh, UHD media as new one, uh, even though there is a larger resolution, but uh, we add a new uh, some the factor with, with uh, brightness and color, uh, and also uh, some different changing of ecosystem. And also this kind of uh, new viewing experience with uh, uh, new device uh, will be happen you know, soon. So totally uh, new experience can be possible uh, with uh, 4K uh, and UHD media. So uh, this is the final slide. Uh, the, when in, uh, the predict uh, futures, uh, we have to consider whole uh, the whole chain of contents. So as I mentioned before, uh, whole ecosystem will be uh, evolved uh, with uh, some uh, revolutionary technology. So contents creating and mastering, uh, we think capturing should be uh, changed. At this time, most of the camera can be handled HDR. But uh, the, that is uh, more popular. It means uh, uh, from export uh, device will be go to the, the user, uh, the general custom. Uh, the so, and then editing and post-processing uh, also will be uh, changed with uh, uh, like some HDR related uh, materials. So two. Uh, edit HDR to processing HDR uh, might be new technology will be uh, introduced. Even though we introduced several things, it will uh, enhance. And also uh, some delivering. Uh, as I mentioned, 8K will also happen, but at this time to deliver 8K might be more than 50 megabps can be uh, used uh, in the the IP or some network. Uh, but as you know, uh, this amount of bandwidth is not yet uh, ready for uh, international wise. So even though uh, many several countries have uh, some uh, 
infrastructure for 8K delivery. But I hope uh, more some compression with uh, new technology uh, to deliver uh, 8K with uh, some IP network. I think it will happen. And also, finally, display is also uh, enhanced. Uh, more re realistic and uh, immersive visual quality uh, presentation. So display and processing, uh, it also uh, enhanced. So um, this is uh, uh, my uh, conclusion. So to show uh, more uh, better uh, picture quality, uh, it not just only with uh, uh, TV. It includes uh, from content creation uh, and also by uh, delivering. And finally, uh, displaying is whole ecosystem. So uh, to make a new uh, media trend, we have to change uh, every old ecosystem. Thank you.